my tale, I thought it was very interesting how they use the COVID undertone to heighten the um, stakes. Um, it's not just you're running out of your home to escape this abusive situation. It's in running into your neighbor's home. It's heightened because, you know, there is a pandemic going on and this is just another thing that makes this extremely erratic and extremely dangerous behavior. Um I do love how she was able to find support in a stranger and her neighbor. And um, it really is a message for abuse um, survivors and victims of abuse because there is this, this stigma of when you're confronted about the situation, you know, a lot of times they will defend the actions. They will not view the flaws in the same way that someone on the outside, they won't accept that they're, the, the person is an abuser and you know so she does all these things and you know almost becomes argumentative with the person that has essentially been trying to protect her um, by allowing her in her home in his home and the moment where she comes back and it's just like he's not asleep yet can I come back inside such a powerful moment because it really shows the mentality it's like I know he's an abuser but I'm unwilling to admit it out loud because to admit it out loud what does that say about myself but I'm still too scared to go back home and it was a simple ending but very powerful potent and it, it summed up the whole um stigma of abuse to me in just that one bit of dialogue hi tail I thought this was so so powerful and such a great film and for a lot of reasons but I remember when lockdown started and it got really intense in in America at least in California where I live um I remember me and some of my co-workers actually talking about how awful the situation was in general but then because I work with mostly women it was something that I don't remember which one of us brought up but the the realization and the realness of how dangerous the situation is for people of like in abusive relationships and having to quarantine having to stay at home having to work from home a lot of these situations were not safe before quarantine before the lockdown before all of that um so I thought this was a really, really powerful movie. I thought it brought up a really important topic that needs to be brought up, needs to be addressed, needs to be talked about more, not just in terms of a pandemic, but in general. Um, and I thought it was done in a really interesting way, a really interesting concept of, you know, he still opened his door even though it's during a pandemic, even though, you know, all these other factors, he still opened the door and he still, he left it open and he let her come back after whatever. And I think that's such a great moral that you can reach out. There will be people there. Um, I thought it was beautifully done the whole time. So there's been a lot of stories coming out of the pandemic and this film does a good job of uh, sort of exploring one with the uh, lockdown as a backdrop. It kind of sets things up. So it's used really smart and effectively here. And it was just, you know, interesting to uh, sort of be a fly on the wall of this uh, relationship and, and sort of uh, witness it as we did. Um, yeah, really interesting film. So good job. This film is called High Tale. This was a moving short from BC about domestic abuse, notably during COVID. A woman running from abuse ends up in the apartment of a neighbor that she does not know. The film is terrifying off the top, but things feel safe away from the abuser with her kind neighbor. The off-camera voice of her abuser is very realistic and her fear believable. I like the new relationship between the leads. You can actually sense it might go somewhere in the future if she can break free from her abuser. Perfect small apartment for this story. Great writing and pace. I appreciate the useful hotlines offered at the end of the film. Everyone should see this film to help those being abused. Great job. Hightail was a really 
suspenseful and touching story about domestic violence um, during the pandemic. And I think it's a really important one that I'm glad is being told here. And I'm glad that you included resources at the end for those who may see this and are experiencing domestic violence. Um, I think the way that this the short ends with the woman going um, and you know we don't really know if she is able to get out of her situation and end up with the neighbor who's who you know keeps her safe in that period and, and you see a bond form between the two is it's something that happens in real life with a lot of people in these situations is that we just don't know what happens next and I think that's the most jarring and the most um upsetting thing about this piece is that it it you know it really resembles what happens um I think the actors portrayed this subject really well um and and you, you know the dy dynamic that they have with each other is really beautiful and um and the pacing was done really well and the stakes and just that ending is just it's hard to watch because it is like i said like three times already it's so true um but this was a really great piece um i hope more people see it and i hope the people who need access at the end to help um get it and I'm, I'm really glad you made this piece um it was really really well done so i just watched the short film hightail i liked this a lot um i like the fact that they used the current you know events such as the pandemic um and it did this in a small space and very well um i really like the different camera shots uh as far as, you know, sometimes being more close up and um, also the acting was really good and just definitely not over the top, very subtle, good acting. And I loved the fact that this woman is seeing an example of a different type of guy than what she's with. Sounds kind of simple, but sometimes women need to be reminded of, you know, there are other more healthy people out there that aren't toxic for us. Probably women and men need to be reminded of that, but just speaking from a female's perspective, I really, and I saw that it was a female director too, but I really liked the fact that she ends up at this guy's place who they probably have never really, they've seen each other, but never had a conversation. And then how, how calm and peaceful this guy is compared to the guy that she's kind of hightailing it away from. Um, just really well done. I like this a lot. Great message. Great use of, I mean, I don't know if, if the person filmed this during the pandemic or after, well, not after, obviously we're still in it, but after the, you know, the first few months of it, um, I just really liked it a lot. I thought it wasn't your typical pandemic type of thing. I wouldn't have thought of doing this as a pandemic piece. Um, a lot of people are doing different types of things, and I really liked this plot and the lesson that we learned from it. So thank you so much, and great job.